So I, had, I did a video on uh, a video that I called uh, Do Transformers Add Distortion? And it was a very, very popular video and I got lots and lots and lots of comments. Um, so I first want to say thank you to all my viewers who took the time to try to educate me. They told me certain things I was doing right, certain things I was doing wrong. They took the time to educate me, and that's the whole purpose of this channel. I'm trying to educate you, but I don't know everything. And whenever you can teach me something, I totally appreciate that. I mean, I'm, you know, in my late 60s, and I hope that I learn something new every day, okay? And I hope you, that you continue to do that, that you continue to, 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 do, to do things, okay? So yeah, thanks for all the great comments. So let's address some of those. Um, and I certainly learned something, so yeah, let's put it to use here, okay? So there was a confusion. Um, so let's address the one of the confusions is people didn't understand my ohm measurement. And that was just a simple oversight on their part. So if I measure this one, this meter is going to tell us uh, 120 ohms on, on, this, on this side, okay? And if we go over here to this side, okay, it will change scales, but it's measuring kilo, kilo ohms, and there's a decimal point here. So it's 0.182 k ohms, which is 182 ohms, okay? So you just missed, you missed the decimal place. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's see, where do we want to do this? Let's do it this way. Okay, so another comment that people made, whoa, another uh, comment that people made was, um, don't put your transformer in a vise, okay? And um, while that might be true for maybe some things, I mean, there are flux lines that go external to a transformer, but most of the flux lines are held within the core. Okay, and uh, Toyota transformers are better than the uh, C-shaped transformers. Um, but uh, I, 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 I took measurements in the vise and out of the vise. I even put a heavier vise here. This has a lot more iron in it. I put it in here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for this one at all. <laughs> I mean, at all, <laughs> okay? But to make some people happy, I'll just keep it out here on the, uh, on the, wor on the workbench and you don't have to worry about those flux lines. Uh, to, trust me, <laughs> it didn't matter one bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, take a look at what we're doing here. All right, we're going to be uh, doing we're going to be doing uh, sawtooths again. All right, so uh, let's look at the output. Uh, we will hook up the we'll hook up the output. Let's do it this way. We'll hook up the output here, and uh, output looks fine. And like I said, pointed out before, it had some extra ringing, and people pointed out, hey, you're not terminating the transformer. Well, that makes total sense. The transformer is like an inductor, and it, and it uh, keeps energy in the core, and then it has to release that energy. And if you release it into a one megum scope probe, it doesn't have anywhere to go and that will reflect back in. Like the SWR, if you're a radio person, like the SWR is bad, so you'll get reflection back into the, into the core and it'll keep repeating and it'll bounce back and forth. But if you terminate it correctly, your SWR, or your matching, will go down and uh, you will dissipate that energy outside of the core and not let it go back into the core, all right? And so we'll demonstrate that. That'll be the point of the video, all right? Uh, one of the things I want to point out here is that um, it's a little bit hard to see here. I guess it's working okay here. Um, by having a floating scope probe, uh, I pick up the fluorescent or the LED lights and stuff, but it looks pretty clean right now, so maybe I don't have to do it. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Square Wave. Uh, so I have a generator over here. So my Square Wave was ringing, remember? And uh, what I'm gonna do, let's move the camera a bit here. I'm gonna take this decade box here and I'm gonna put a load resistor on it, okay? And so I am going to load the output so the energy has some place to be dissipated. And boom, there you go, it fixes it. So you guys are right. We need to dissipate the energy. Um, so, 
And you can see that uh, we are definitely loading the circuit down because we're rolling off those edges, right? If I get rid of the termination, it rings. If I put in the termination, it goes down, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the resistance of the termination. This is 1K, this is 2.2K, 3.3K, 4.7K, right? Um, and we can go here to higher values. And we can find kind of a happy spot, right? Here's uh, 6.8K and here is 10K. So 10K, we're getting a little bit of overshoot. And 6.8K, uh, we are critically dampened or something like that. So it's kind of like uh, normalizing your scope probe, right? All right, so that is with the uh, transformer in where we are on the 180 ohm side, not the 120 ohm side. So let's flip the transformer around and, and see what happens. So I'll flip it around and we will inject on the other side. We'll put our load back on. Well, let's we'll start without the load. Start without the load so we can see it ring. All right, and so uh, it is lower in amplitude because of the, the way the transformer is working, okay? But we are, we are definitely getting ringing, okay? And so let's add a load. And uh, we will start again at 1K ohm. 1K ohm, it's, 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 uh, it's definitely uh, rolled off. And here's uh, 2.2K. Here's 3.3K, here's 4K. So 4K, oops, 4K, we're starting to overshoot a little bit, 4.7K. Here's 3.3K and here's 2.2K. So 2.2K is doing a really, a really good job here. There's a lot of uh, noise in the room. So this is kind of what I wanted to show you. There's a lot of noise in the room and that has to do with, I don't have an earth ground anywhere in the system and the grounds, um, are being picked up on this little piece of wire here. So anything that's in the room, okay? Now, if I look back up to the signal here and I turn the room lights off, it gets quieter, okay? The other thing that I can do is I can connect the earth grounds together. So I'm gonna connect the two sides of the transformer so they're not isolated anymore, but they have a common, they have a common ground. And that also, that also can clean things up, okay? So be careful of that. If you have a totally isolated circuit, you have to worry about, will it pick up noise or not if it's not being referenced to anything. So anyway, just another, uh, just another thing to look at in this, in this circuit. We can get rid of that one there. All right, so anyway, I thought that was interesting. Um, I think what you need to do, obviously the, um, resistor values don't have anything to do with 120 ohms or 180 ohms, right? We're up in the K ohm range, right? You know, on the one side, we were at 6.8 K. On this side, we're at, uh, you know, 3, 3 K. Um, so I think it has to do with a bunch of uh, parameters of your circuit. So whenever you build something like this and you want to, um, want to have a signal integrity that doesn't ring, um, you can go ahead and, and actually, you know, on the bench, uh, put in some type of uh, device and, and tune it, just like you would your scope probe, right? Tune it for, 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 best, for best use. Now, um, what is it gonna do to your signal uh, if you're like, say, have a, um, an audio signal? Let's go, let's go to the big side of things. Let's go up to uh, 20, 20 kilohertz. So here's 20 kilohertz. Oops, wrong one again. Here's 20 kilohertz. We're still getting a bit of ringing, uh, ringing, okay? And that is at uh, two point, that is at 2.2K. If I go to 1K, it's gonna dampen it down a bit. Uh, here's 470 ohms, but we're rolling way off the, off the response. So um, we might have to roll it off at 1K here to get, uh, I'll do a single shot to get a good looking uh, to get a good looking uh, 
picture, although we still have we still have a little bit of ringing. Some people pointed out, hey, that ringing is above your audio uh, threshold. You can't hear above 20 kilohertz anyway. Well, that's true. Uh, good fidelity systems still reproduce those things, but that's a different topic. Um, but if I get rid of the uh, if I get rid of the dampening altogether, you know, we get that ringing back. So what are we doing? We're rolling off frequency, and so adding a transformer is going to lower the frequency response of the system. It's going to add inductance, right? It's just going to it's going to lower it. Whether it's acceptable or not, whether it's what you want or not, well, that just comes down to the application. Okay, I'm going to leave you just with one thought here. Uh, this is the transformer out in the breeze. Here's a big chunk of big chunk of steel, and if I drop the uh, if I drop, you can see that this actually is this actually is live. Okay, this is a live image, and if I take it in and out, or I hold or I hold this big chunk of metal anywhere near that transformer. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, look how, look how much it changes. It doesn't change at all. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. All of the field lines are contained within the, uh, within the transformer.